There is a valley that is known for its tales of jinn, fairies, and strange creatures. It's a mountain where darkness always resides, and the light of the moon and sun never reaches there. It's a valley where no human has ever set foot. What is this place after all? Is it a dwelling of jinn or a portal to another world? The name Koei Kaf brings to mind many stories and legends. These are the stories that start with princes and are filled with fear-inducing encounters with jinn's magic and enchantments. The climax of these stories usually involves the abduction of a king's daughter, leading to her imprisonment in Koei Kaf. As a rule, these tales announce from the king that whoever brings back the princess will be rewarded with the marriage of the princess herself. And it is always the noblest prince among them who reaches Koei Kaf, defeats the Jin, and brings back the princess. Such stories hold a special place in the literary and folklore traditions of Arabia, India, and Pakistan. These stories have reached us not only through books, but have also been passed down from generation to generation in the form of folklore. Koei Kaf is often referred to as the home of Jinn, created by God from sparkling emerald. According to Iranian traditions, this region was situated in the northern parts of the Kaf Kaf area. It is a place that no human government has ever been able to reach. Ancient knowledge has kept this region hidden. In reality, it is a mountain range, considered the furthest point of the earth. In legends, it is famous for Zoroastrian lands in the presence of the mythical bird Seamorg. It is said that the land of Koei Kaf is all made of precious stones, which gives the sky there a greenish hue. In ancient times, the place where different generations of jinn ruled was also called Koei Kaf. In Arab books, Kaf is mentioned as the highest point in the fairy ranges, which was created by Allah to support and sustain the earth. The branches of all the fairy ranges on this earth are connected to Koei Kaf. Thus, this mountain is considered the center of all mountain ranges. Zakaria al Kazwini wrote a book called Wonders of Creation and Oddities of Existence in the 13th century. In this book, he presents the theory that Allah has held the heavens above this earth to prevent them from falling. Surrounding this earth on all sides are mountain ranges, including Kokaf, which firmly holds these ranges in its place. Jalaluddin Rumi mentioned in his book that the powerful King Alex entered the great travel towards Kokaf in search of the Fountain of Life. During his journey, he reached Koei Kaf and saw that there has Radiz Rafil was waiting for the Day of Judgment. It is also believed that the word Kaf signifies the center of something and is so sacred that it is mentioned in the Quran in Sur al Kaf, which points towards Kokaf. In this surah, Allah presents the concept of his oneness, the life and death, and the story of the companions of the cave. Geographically speaking, where is Kokaf located on our earth? There are various theories about. Most researchers agree that the Kokaf of Arab tales is actually Mount Caucasus, known as Kaf, located in present-day Russia. This region includes countries such as Armenia, Azerbaijan, Dagestan, and Russia. This region is abundant in natural beauty, with various species of animals and birds. Seeing its lakes, waterfalls, and small springs, one feels as if heaven has descended upon the earth. The population here is equivalent to non-existent. Koei Kaf connects Asia to Europe and when observed from satellites, appears as a white line. Some scholars believe that Kokaf is present in the desolate and snowy regions of Antarctica, always covered in clouds and darkness. Some even consider Atlanta City to be Kokaf, which has been destroyed due to a great calamity. Modern technology and physics can also help us understand Koei Kaf. 
According to the latest research in physics, there are 11 dimensions in our universe, and we, humans, are only living in three or four dimensions. How many stars, planets, and worlds exist in those additional dimensions? Only Allah knows. According to researchers, the world of souls, which we call the realm of Barzik, heaven, and hell, exists in those dimensions where humans enter after death. It is possible that Kokath also exists in one of those 11 dimensions where it is impossible for humans to reach. If you enjoyed our video, we kindly request you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to stay connected with Knowledge TV for the latest updates. Thank you for your support and we look forward to bringing you more exciting knowledge-based content in the future.